Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss the most confusing part of the Model 24. It's technically not confusing. It's just that people assume that main and control room work exactly the same and they really, really, really don't. So we are going to be focusing our attention on, let me show you here. I can't see with my thing. Let's go a bit on this section. So this section up here. How does it work? What gets controlled by it? You know, all that stuff. So we're gonna start by talking about main. So main is technically designed for live performances. You're out, you're doing a show. That's what main is for. It's it's to send the inf it's to send the sound to the to the pre to the amplifier. The amplifier then puts it through the big speakers so that everybody gets to hear what you're doing. And that is what it is there for. It is the designed to, to be the, the mixing board as the live system. That is where it goes from. So, so remembering that in, remembering about that is, I think this is, this is where people get confused a lot. So knowing that, all right. So the first thing is, is that um, what works with main, only main. So I'm just talking about only main here. So this is, this is what, I, what we're getting at. So main, the stereo EQ here, that will work now it will work on the monitors or it will work on main it will not work on control room you can't use this as a final recording um eq it is it doesn't work that way it's not part of the mix it is not part of your recording system it is only there for that it is just to to eq the sound that is coming out of the amplifier at a live show that's what it's for um, and yeah, it'll do the monitors as well, but that's, that's all live show stuff. So just remember that. So that's, that's first. Secondly, the main fader, this little guy here, this little guy is only controlled by the, by the, um, main output. You can, I'll, I'll show you this right now. So what I've done behind me here, you can see, I have an Elisa speaker. That is my main out. And then I have my front control room speakers. So I'm going to pull the main down here and so main is down. I'm just going to show you mains down and I'm going to go on control room. So I'm going to play what I have on the system here. Make sure the SD card is out. All right. So I'm just going to play what I have. So here we go. So. That is coming out of. That's coming out of the control room. As you can see, main is down. I can mute main. It does not affect the control room. But that being said, now it's coming out of that speaker behind me. So that, just to show you, that is what it does. So it only controls, it only controls the main, the main, the main, this guy, the, the, the big speakers that you would have outside. Uh, same with the mute. Mute is only for this guy. Has nothing to do with control room. Control room is its own beast in that regard. So that's, let's see. So we covered the stereo cube, main fader. Yes, got that. That's the, uh, this. Okay, so next is the SD Mix Return. This is a weird one. Um, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around as to why I would use this. Um, what it is is if you do a stereo mix down, so if you go into, I don't know how well I can show you the oh, thing broke. Hold on. don't know how well I can show you the screen here. It's a little dark. Yeah, it's hard to. That's the biggest problem with this thing. I, I do have, I, let's see, I think if I get closer and if I buy a better, all right, so can you see what I'm talking about here? Nope. I hate this so much. Let's see. All right, so if I cover it, so you can see I'm in the main return. I'm just going to go, so what I'm talking about is if you're in the me menu, see if you can see that, it's a stereo mix export. That's what I'm looking at. I got to get a, this, this this Hue camera is not designed to look at these screens. Um, so stereo mix export. 
um, if you'd use that after you've done your recording, so that would take 23, or in this, well, in this case, it's 23, 24, that, that, those two tracks. It would then mix them into one stereo thing. That will come through the SD mix return. So it broke again. And so that would come through this little guy here. And I can show you that it will not come through control room at all. So I will get, and I can prove that. What I'm gonna do is on this side over here, cause I do have them up. So now, like I said, this, this works on both control room and on main. So if I go, so I've muted all the channels. That's the only channels that are on this recording. And then if I go back and I'll just go back home. So I'm back on my, on my uh, screen here. And if I play, as you can see, I have the SD card mixed down and now it starts, but it's not coming through the control room now. And you can see, so what it's playing is what I recorded before. It's playing the stereo mix of it. Now, I don't know what, I don't know where I would use that. I guess if I were, if I were doing something like a show or something and I needed music in between, I could put it in the stereo mix and then have it play it after. So pl have it play it while while I'm while we're you know switching bands or something. That otherwise, I don't see a point to it. So that's first. Um, now let's now that's that's pretty much everything that works with main that does not work with control room. And now the control room is designed more for studio work. And so it is more, it's more designed on, it's, it's more on the side of the recording end of, sh end of stuff here. So once you've recorded it, it handles the digital side of things. Still goes through the same board, still goes through all this, but it's now digital. So, and I can, so I, well, I've shown you that the control room volume goes up and down. So, so here we start the song again. Now I'm using it's showing main, but I'm not sending it through. Let's just do that. So let's go. This is coming through the control room. And mutes work. And mutes work. And mutes work. Like these are everything here works. I can't really show you. Let's pull back a bit here. Because everything works here. That's what it's for. Now, what what is different about um, the control room is, is that the AF, the PFL, the little button at the very bottom here and the AFL, which is on the monitor stuff, which is like after fader, pre fader, all that stuff that, that is all controlled by the, that's all on the control room end. It does not affect main. And I can, I can, let's see, how can I show that one? Well, I can show it by doing this really. So I'll start again. So now I have it coming through both. I have it coming through main. Turn control, control room down. It's coming through the back. I had P, I, I'll hit a PFL here. I'll hit track eight. PFL light is on. PFL light is on. You can't hear it. Now if I switch here, it's just that one track. I'll show you more with bass. And now it's everything again. So what good is that? You might be asking yourself. Well, that's your solo button right there. The other thing it's nice for is if you're doing if you're doing a control, you're doing, you're listening to, you're listening to, um, you want to check how much is going through the monitors. I wish they would have added this for the effect, but they did not. So let's say I'm going to use monitor one and I'm going to put it on track seven. So I'm bringing up the monitor level on track, so on track seven here. So right there, you can just see my finger on the outside of the screen. And then if I click on the AFL 
And then where's the monitor out here? I think, where is monitor out? Oh, there we go. So now I hear, I hear, I hear exactly what I'm sending to the monitor out. This is great. This is, this is, this is something which I was like, well, you know, the, the, the DP32 has this ability to, you can select what you want to go through the, through the line, the, the system, through those, through your uh, control rooms, your monitors. And now, now I know that this does as well. So I can, you know, you can hear it and you can see, okay, well, this is where, this is what, this is what I'm sending to the monitors and I can check each monitor and say, okay, that's what I want to send. Um, yeah. Like if I were doing this in a live, in a live thing, I would probably use the headphone jack for that. The headphones are con connected to the control room in this case. So they're not connected to the, to the main. They're, they're separate as well. They are part of the control room. That's why, that's why when you look up here, this is all one color. It's, it's to say this is all together. Um, yeah, so that's, these are the two things that, or this is all the things that I found that work, that make up what's going on here in the system. And I wanted to just, ex just show you how it worked, give you an idea of how, what, what's going on there. And yeah, I hope this, I hope this helps you out. So yeah, like if you, if you are running this as a, as a, um, for a studio, for studio work, use the control room don't use the main the main is great if you're doing like a live record like live off the floor or something and you want to be able to hear the vocals and you don't want to you don't want to have to rig a maru something to do vocals and then the rest that's that's what i would use the mains for in this case but the mains are they are designed really really to be out at a show here's your board yes you can record with it but at the same time yes you're out there on you're out there on the floor. You're, the band's playing. You're working the board here. You're fiddling with their sound. You're you could have your headphones on with the control room, and you could be sitting there, fiddle faddling with all the, the PFLs and the AFLs, making sure everything's everything's recording well and how it sounds. Um, what's nice about the other nice thing is, to record, you don't have to have main or sub down. They're not they're not needed. They're not needed. Nothing. None of these buttons at the bottom here are needed to record. As soon as you are have it set to record, it takes the information that's coming across and it puts and it records it. You can use it to listen to it. These are things that I'm glad I found out because on my last one I had to actually I was sending sound to the mains so I could hear the piano and see what I was how it was recording. I don't have to do that anymore. It's right in front of me. It's right there. It's working as it should. Now the other I forgot one thing. Let me go back to this for a second. Sorry about this. I forgot this. Um, if you do play with the PFL and the AFL, that's your volume for that. So it is a separate volume. You can set it wherever you want and then you can listen to it. But that is pretty much everything I can think of here about this thing. I, that's why I hooked this up today. I wanted to say, I wanted to see, okay, what does it affect? What, which ones, what is everything used for? That's why I did this today. Um, Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Get the yawn song. Days go faster until there's none.